Another new law restricts where you can vape in Florida. Now you can't use them in most indoor workplaces. Inside this building, inside a restaurant, inside a movie theater, inside a mall, inside a government building, any place where people are working. Former Florida Senator Lisa Carlton of Sarasota sat on the state's Constitutional Revision Committee to put the vaping ban on the ballot. And you say getting to this point was not easy. It was not easy. It was not easy because, you know, there's so many unknowns around the vaping. What, what are in these devices? What are people breathing? What are, what are we consuming when, from the secondhand vape that is surrounding somebody vaping? But once the Surgeon General came out with a report about the easy addiction to nicotine and how it can harm the developing brain, that gave states the green light to start restricting the use of e-cigarettes. So coming up in our next hour, I'll tell you more about changes right here in Florida that are on the way. So a lot of people put a lot of time in this to, uh, you know, keep Florida smoke free. And it's, it's good to know that, they, that, they're, that they're thinking about it because, right. you know, it was told, uh, initially it was, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, but let, let's research that first. Well, especially when you consider it's become an epidemic mm -hmm. with teenagers and children yeah. even. So we're going to talk more about that at six. All right, well, outside right now, feels fresh, just feels